So uh, I'm now preparing for um, what will hopefully be an historic meeting with the city attorney and Coral Gables, uh, trying to um, help them see, see if they uh, see things the way I'm seeing them on this, uh, trying to solve the traffic mess. Of course, Coral Gables has a tremendous vested interest uh, in not being uh, basically uh, a road that people commute to and from work from West Miami-Dade County to East Miami-Dade County every single day. Almost 800,000 cars go through on work days across Coral Gables. Um, and um, then when you look at the big picture, um, the um, big issue really, I think, is this, uh, um, where did the money go, right? Because if, if, the, if this is about trust in government, if, if um, Miami-Dade County can get away with diverting uh, upwards of two billion uh, tax dollars out of six billion tax dollars collected, um, and w when the when the vote came down, I was here, uh, and the promise was this will only go for improving the uh, traffic infrastructure, right? So then they are claiming now that they changed those rules, uh, for, you know, from fine print in two thousand and nine, this and that. So what does that mean for a voter? It means uh, um, don't, don't even participate because it's all a load of uh, lies, right? Uh, you can't trust the government. They put something on the ballot, uh, but there's all kinds of um, fine print that they can just undo it with the stroke of a pen. So you think you're voting for something uh, to tax yourself, right? I guess that would be the, the lesson is never, never approve a tax hike uh, because there's fine print that will allow that money to be uh, stolen. It's about trust in government. Anyways, there is one issue that I've seen as, uh, as I prepare for this. Uh, so I, I believe that our city should, uh, should file, should join the lawsuit or file its own uh, demanding an accounting of these taxpayer monies uh, because um, we have a mess here. The, and so moving on, the, the, what is the mess? The traffic mess, right? Um, traffic is overbearingly difficult. People cannot take jobs from, if they work in one part of the county and they live in another part of the county, a friend of mine this just went through this, she quit her job because she was moving to Kindale Lakes and she works in Wynwood and the commute is so overbearing, she, she quit, right? Because she knew that the traffic would kill her. It's like having two jobs. So um, do we want to change this? Do we want to, uh, uh, if we're going to, for instance, we could be in the running for some Amazon headquarters stuff for like, let's say Latin America. Uh, are we going to solve our problems or not? Not to mention uh, climate change, global warming, sea level rise. So um, really, I think the more important issue is could rapid transit, but, but anyways, so in terms of suing for the accounting, I, I think really we, we have to do it. Otherwise, um, you know, one rational uh, conclusion would be never vote for a tax increase because they will steal the money and use it for something else. It's a sham, right? Um, but in, in the bigger picture of solving our problems, I've learned that the, uh, the, uh, rapid transit bus from Metro Rail Dadeland to Homestead is perhaps better than I thought. I've, I've gotten two different um, user feedbacks on it. Uh, I don't think it's as good as Metro Rail. Uh, think about even if you have the dedicated lane, which they do to avoid all other you know, competing traffic, you still have the stoplights. Uh, you're, you're still on the ground in the road grid and you have delays. Whereas with Metro Rail, you're literally above the ground. Where's my fingers here? Uh, and uh, can avoid that. Uh, not to mention, um, to me, the uh, whole bus system in Miami-Dade County is um, very unappealing. There are crimes committed on buses. And uh, so um, the real question uh, on that very practical level is, will people even take the bus? 
Would you or I take it? And I think it's somewhat doubtful, but if we can get this, uh, this um, missing $2 billion back in the pot where the voters intended it to be, then uh, um, we can afford to do the Metro Rail, which is a sure solution, a sure solution. What is that solution? Uh, Metro Rail on the State Road 836, on all the superhighways, uh, Metro Rail on State Road 836, on the Palmetto Expressway, on the Turnpike, on uh, Don Chula Expressway, so on. And, and then people will park and ride. And, and, and then you've got this uh, reduction, I would say, of maybe one-third uh, uh, cars off the road. <laughs>